Good afternoon, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right. So, Taurus, how are you guys feeling? You guys feeling good? I hope you guys are feeling good. Honestly, 100%. All right. So, what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, let's get right into the overall energies. So, all right, you're not feeling satisfied with what contracts you have uh, been fulfilled with. You could be dealing with a cancer, or you're just having a hard time moving forward uh, with what you are doing. Because you just aren't satisfied at from where you are at, all right? Yeah, you're just, you're very unsatisfied. You aren't liking where things are at this point. You're just kind of like, eh, what do I do? What do I do? All right? So you got the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Chariot card, the Judgment card, the Four of Wands, the Three of Wands, both in re uh, all three in reverse, uh, and those ones are in reverse. Obviously, you see that, um, but I didn't. <laughs> Either way, uh, you have the two of cups, you have the four of cups, and you have the five of cups. So, it looks like there's a bit of a theme here. All right, so you're going down in wands, so you're dropping a wand because, you know, doors are being shut, maybe... You're making a judgment call and you're closing the door on some situation that you don't really want anymore. Or maybe this is just like a closed off relationship. Like you don't want anyone knowing about this relationship and you're not waiting either. You're not waiting for things to get rough. You just, you want to get things started. You don't want to wait. You don't want to, you know, you just want to get things started and get things moving along because and you don't want people knowing about this situation that you are in. You could be dealing with a Gemini or just um, a soulmate of some sort or a twin flame. Either way, um, you have the two of cups here, which is, you know, like the lovers, it's two people with a really good connection coming together, you know. Um, but... There's something about it. Like, yeah, there's this connection here and you have three offers in front of you, but you're just not, I don't know, there's something about it that's like you're wishing there was another offer, like an offer that could, you know, that could just be handed to you, like how you have the four of cups here. You know, you're not seeing that fourth cup. You only see the three cups in front of you and you're not really satisfied with them. And you're kind of just like, eh, do I really want one of these three cups? Like, can't I just have, like, another option? But there, you may get this other option, but you're not sure if you like it or not. But you, you may just go through a bit of a depressing time. So if you end up ending a relationship with this person... Uh, could be a Cancer or a Gemini, but either way, um, if you don't, if things don't work out between you two, it looks like you may just go into a depression, like a depressing time, maybe because you miss this person so much, or you just you wanted things to work out between you two, but the connection it was there, but it just there wasn't any sparks. You know, you know, sometimes that happens. You know. But yeah, you definitely know you have options and you're not scared to, you know, end something and to move forward with another option because you know you have options for sure. And it looks like one of those options will be coming towards you with a cup of love. It could be this person over here or this could just be a new person. But yeah, someone's definitely coming in, but they're on the Knight of Cups. So they're on the slowest moving horse in the deck. It's not, well, I guess I wouldn't say the slowest moving because it's not completely still, but it's still enough. Like it's just coming in very slow. It 
wants to take its time, build its roots up with you, and, you know, offer the cup of love when the time is right. You know, it doesn't want to jump into anything too quick. It just, it wants to go in at a steady pace so that way the, um, that way you guys can build a strong foundation and be able to really make a castle, you know, form, you know, like a huge castle, a huge kingdom that's very stable and grounded. All right. So that's going to be it for this deck. If you are resonating with this video, please put it, um, smash a like on that like button. All right. <laughs> all right so let's see what the moonology cards have for taurus sun moon venus and rising sign all right spirit of the moon what do you have for taurus sun moon venus and rising sign spirit of the moon what do you have for taurus any advice for taurus sun moon venus and rising sign any advice for taurus two more shuffles two more shuffles Two more shuffles for Taurus. There's one. There's two. All right. So you got don't let the past hold you back. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, have faith. Don't be scared to end something and to just want to get something going because you got to have faith in order. If you don't have faith in order to, like, to get this thing started and to like have faith that the your you know relationship or dream is going to work out then it's not going to work out if you believe that it's not going to work between you two then it won't work you know that's how things are it's all it's a it's all about the mind you know it's a mind game you know you if you think a certain way things are going to happen that way all right so don't let your past hold you back. Don't let, you know, just because something happened in the past between you and your ex doesn't mean it will happen again with this person. It's time to really, you know, do what you think is right, how you feel is right, you know. And you got look at the bigger picture, all right? When it comes to this situation, look at the bigger picture. Is this person really worth it? Are your options better than this person? That's what you really got to ask yourself. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius because that is the Sagittarius card. It's funny that I put it right in the middle and it's like pointed right at the Knight of Cups. So. It's interesting. All right, so or that could the arrow just means like maybe it says or maybe it just means like choose this person. This one is the right one for you. Don't let your past, you know, don't choose someone over. Don't choose your past over this person because this person is going to treat you better than your past ever did, all right, and ever will do, all right? This person looks very stable, a little bit emotional, but it, you know, who isn't, like, somewhat emotional, you know? But it's up to you. It's up to you on what you want to choose. It's up to you. Ooh. Ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, and and fertil fertility. <laughs> Sacred heart, passion, love, and spiritual connection. Yeah, Taurus, now is the time for love. You have a lot of love cards coming in. There's a lot of love coming in, uh, but also be careful because now is a very fertile time for you. So. It is very easy for you to get pregnant, so just be careful when you're going out on dates because you may just end up pregnant, you know. But it is also a good time for healing, so if you 
if you are going through like a depressing state of mind, you know, just now is a good time to be with friends and to heal things. You know, be with good friends, the ones that are going to be there for you. And cycles will be ending and new cycles will be starting. So not you're you won't be repeating your past. You're going to be repeating you're going to be starting a new cycle, not repeating anything. All right. As long as you have it in that state of mind. But this love is going to be very passionate, very loving, very caring, and they can be very spiritual in a way, whichever way that is. Um but it you know. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.